the babysitter killer queen has Cole uh, getting away to forget about what happened in the first movie, but Melanie signed your name in the book, and the same thing happens again. This movie came out in 2020 on Netflix, uh, and yeah, so uh, here we go. So the positives on the film is the kills are awesome, there's a throat slit, there's Sonya gets decapitated with a surfboard, uh, limbs are chopped off, and Max gets motorboated in the face, gets chopped up by the motor of a boat. And then, um, also before that kill, Max tubing on the lake was cool. Uh, that was kind of fun to see. And I love it when... I love it when, um, the second time Max is dying, and he said... And, um, he drinks the blood, but it was tainted because Cole had sex. Uh, he's, uh, Max is starting to die, and he says, I'm not even mad, bro. That was funny. But that's it for the positives. On to the negatives. Um, it feels weird when it's only two years after, it, it, uh, two years later, after the original, but it was filmed four years later. Um, I mean, like, just say he was a seventh grader in the first one, and then have it be four years later, so that he'd be, like, an eleventh grader. But instead, he's supposed to be a freshman or something. So it just doesn't make sense. Uh... Another negative is there are just too many references in it. There's like Large Marge, Camp Crystal Lake, Forrest Gump and Jenny, and Terminator 2 and Ice Ice Baby. And again, uh, with the referencing thing, uh, it references sequels are superior like Terminator 2. And this just makes it feel inferior to the original Babysitter. Um, Terminator 2 wasn't better than the original because it said it was better. It was better because it did something different. It didn't have to say that it was better to be better. And it, it just frustrates me in this movie. Um, and uh, this movie just doesn't really do... doesn't really do anything different because it... Because, um, uh, when the first kill comes, Cole sees it, and, and then you see the tag of, of, what the hell again, and, and then, like, um, who's the redhead chick? I don't remember. When she shoots the gun, and then it goes back into her, her boob, and she says, oh my god, again? And, um... And Max says, Coley, come out and play. I'm pretty sure he said that um, in the first one in the treehouse scene. Um, so this just really doesn't feel like it doesn't... It really feels like it doesn't do anything different. Um, and another negative is... This is almost entertainingly bad, but it's still bad. The sex scene that Cole and Phoebe have is just terrible because you see a bunch of sex symbols and and then them literally dancing. It's almost entertaining to watch because it's so weird, but it's weird nonetheless. Just, yeah, I don't know. Um... And this movie is also, like, an hour and 48 minutes. So it feels really long. The first hour actually uh, actually went pretty fast. But after that, it just kind of uh, it wasn't really that fast. Uh, while the first movie was, like, an hour and 25 minutes. And so it moved at a good pace. Um... So, that's it for negatives. So, I mean, like, in the end, this this isn't an embarrassing 
sequel, but it it does it is inferior to the original. It has it has nothing to do with uh babysitting uh like the first one. I mean, I get that they kind of want to have a sequel to the babysitter, but do something with babysitting and this just doesn't have that. And I never have the desire to watch this movie. Uh, I only watch the first one. I th I think the Babysitter Killer Queen is okay, but it definitely is inferior to the original Babysitter. But uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.